decided that on this canvas here, I might paint some weird and quirky sea creatures. So similar to this one here, but it's all going to be sea creatures. I want them to be kind of cute, weird, freaky. So I'm going to see how I go. I'm trying to downsize because the thing is I always go really big and that takes me so long. So I'm trying to motivate myself or encourage myself to do small because if I do small, then I can pump a lot out. If I do big, I can get one done in a long time. So it only makes sense to try and downsize so I can produce more art, more videos for your entertainment. Plus this size is kind of cute, like, and I like, I don't know, there's something about this width that I like, I like it to be thick. <laughs> um, so that I can continue the image, wrap it around the canvas. So this is my office space. This isn't my usual space. I don't usually film in here because there is an ugly yellow light above me, which for some reason, after watching lots of videos, I enjoy a white crisp light, but your girl can only do so much. So YOLO, here we go. I'm going to start with my lead pencil and we are going to give this a crack -a doodle and fingers crossed it ends up looking good. So we're going to start by mixing our white acrylic paint into our selected acrylic paint colours. I went for some sort of fluorescent colours and some pastel colours. Now I'm going straight in on top of my rough sketch. You can afford to be slightly uh, rough and messy with this area because you're going to outline anyway. So don't put too much effort into making sure you're getting every detail crisp and every line to a T. Once I'm finished with all my characters, I started to add, I guess, the little details in, so some eyes, and then I also started to do the black outline with my black acrylic paint. As you can see, this is real time here, so I haven't fast forward this clip, and it just goes to show how long it takes me to do a painting. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed it up to save the boring sections. So here I start to go in with some more detail, so putting all their little eyes and mouths on. You'll find that I actually decide to change it and um, so give them all googly white eyes. I decided halfway through that I didn't like the tiny beady eyes, I liked the big white googly ones. So you'll see that is what I eventually went with. Sometimes when you're painting, you just decide to switch it up, change it up because halfway through, 
you don't like it and I think that's the best thing about painting is that you can do that. So once I had finished the painting and it fully dried, I finished it up by putting some gloss varnish over the top to protect it and really give it a bit more vibrancy. So this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed this video. This painting here will be available on my website for purchase. I will have the link below. Thanks so much for coming, watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos. And uh, see you later. Have a good day.